The given channel is designed to pass a flood of 2500 CFS at a depth of 8 feet under uniform velocity. Which answer is closest to the minimum required width for each of the two overbank sections in order to achieve this? So what we've got here is a channel with a depth of 3 feet plus 5 feet is our 8 feet over here. And the whole channel plus the overbank group of sections together is meant to pass a flow of 2500 CFS. The slope is going to be 0 0.01 and we have different Manning's n values for the overbanks versus the channel. The problem is asking us to find how much width each overbank needs to be to pass the total flow required. So the first thing we would need to do is find the amount of flow that just the channel itself can pass. So Manning's equation comes to mind immediately for that. When I see open channel flow, typically I think of Manning's anyway. So open channel, think Manning's. Okay, so let's write out our Manning's equation, which is from page 345 on the reference manual. So we've got Q equals 1.486 over N, A, A over PW to the two thirds, S to the one half. And that's gonna be the hydraulic radius, just expand it a little more. So note here that the width is a function, or is one of the components rather, that goes into area and goes into wetted perimeter. So we're gonna be playing with these terms to solve for the correct amount of flow once we know how much flow the channel itself can pass. So first let's find the flow in the channel. So we've got Q equals 1.486 over N equals 0 0.04. Area is going to be 40 times, we're gonna do the whole height of the channel, so eight. So that's 40 feet times eight feet. And then Area again, 40 feet times eight feet over. The wetted perimeter is only the area in contact with the channel bottom. So we're gonna have three plus 40 plus three. The rest of this doesn't have a frictional force from the wall associated with it. So that's gonna be, and all of those are in feet. All of that is to the two thirds. And the slope we know is 0 0.001 square root. So if we solve out for this, we're going to get a Q of just about 1370 cubic feet per second. So next step is how much flow does the overbank need to pass? So if we have a total of 2,500 minus 1,370 cubic feet per second, that means the overbanks will need to channel just about 1130 CFS. Now because there's two overbanks, now because there's two overbanks, we're going to need to solve for one of the widths, but really what we're saying is now because there's two overbanks, this really means that each one needs to handle half of the flow. So the way we could write this out is that Eleven thirty cubic feet per second equals so we're going to write out Manning's again one point four eight six 
over the Manning Zen for the overbank is 0 0.15, so it's much rougher than the channel itself. Now the area here is going to be, we don't know the width, but we do know the height is 5, because that's what we need to keep the channel at a total depth of 8, which was asked by the problem. So we're going to say 5 times W here, and then same thing here for the area over wetted perimeter equation. We have 5 times W over W plus 5, because that's the total area in contact with the overbank section. So W plus 5, all of that to the 2 thirds. And our slope, we at least know, because that's consistent with the channel. So that's going to be the square root of 0 0.001. And because we have two overbank sections needed for the total flow here, we can actually multiply that whole thing by 2. So this is where we get to a point in the problem where we can simplify a little bit, but it's going to be really difficult and time consuming if to try to solve for w by itself. And with the calculator you have on the exam, it might not even really be possible to do that without a lot of additional steps. So at this point, it makes more sense to, we can simplify it a little bit. So let's, let's remove any of these free terms here that are impacted by a, the W variable. So if we go to step four over here, we can say that if we multiply by 0 0.15, divide by 1.486, divide by the slope and divide by two, we should get 1803 equals five times W, five times W over W plus five to the two thirds, which if you wanna rewrite that one more time, you could say five times W to the 5 thirds over W plus 5 to the 2 thirds equals, is supposed to equal 1803. So at this point, the way to do this is to test your answers. So let's assume that W equals 125, since that's one of the two middle terms to start with. So if W equals 125, we could plug that into here, and five times 125 to the five thirds over 125 plus five to the two thirds. And solving that in your calculator should be doable enough. And that's going to get us to about 1780, which is very close, relatively speaking, to 1803, which was what we were solving for after manipulating around this equation over here. So we can believe here that 125 is going to be the right answer because Anything less is going to get you farther away from 1803, and doubling the width is going to greatly exceed that value. So our answer here is 125 feet for the width of each overbank section. Because remember, we multiplied the entire Manning's equation over here by 2 to account for each overbank. So all you have to know for this problem is to break up the channel, to use Manning's equation, to break up the channel into the channel and the overbanks. And then at the end, to try to solve, to guess and check your W's rather than solve for that directly. And that should be it.